English as a second language is becoming a first language in in my mind. Sometimes I think I'm speaking Icelandic, but you are speaking English, I'm speaking in fact. English. Yes, I know. And we're becoming <laughs> a society of, of yeah. English speakers. Yes. And you can see it on Twitter. You yeah. can see it in yes. uh, on Facebook. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it's mm. it's a mixed thing. Yeah, it is. It's 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 it is a mixed blessing, in fact. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. because uh, of course we're scared of losing our own language. Yeah. You know, we want uh, things in Icelandic, and, and therefore I think uh, things like storytell are very important because so people are used to listening to the language and enjoying it. Yeah. You know, because yeah. we have so much uh, English-speaking media. Yeah. You know, the film and the music and everything. You know, yeah, yeah. and and books. You know. So, uh, so the living word, yeah, spoken yeah, word. Exactly, so yeah. we need to keep the Icelandic that way. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, for me as an Icelandic author, yeah. it is so great to be able to get out of the Icelandic uh, language, yeah. you know, uh, into the world. Because we, yeah. we have 330,000 speakers of this l l tiny little language. So uh, for a writer to write for that, uh, readership is uh, very limited so it is a, completely a blessing to get translated into other languages and to um, have you know cons exist in the international community of, yeah, of yeah. literature like for example Iceland Noir it's an international uh, festival and we have people um, Icelanders uh, English people German uh, Canadian, uh, from the US, from Spain, from Denmark, from Finland, you know, and we come together and we use uh, the English. It's probably the Latin of our time, you know. It's, uh, yeah, it definitely is. Yeah, it definitely yeah, is. We're yeah. speaking together on the day of the Icelandic language. Mm, the day mm. is the 16th of November. Yes, exactly. The birthday of our, yeah. our, yes. our beloved yes. Jonas Hafgrimsson. Exactly, yes. Um, mm. You started as a playwright, right? Or well, uh, I started actually as a, as a crime writer. I wrote two crime novels that uh, never uh, went very far. I wrote two crime novels in 2009 and 10. Yeah. And, uh, and then I uh, went in, into the theater. And, uh, the first and recognition came from, yes, from the theater. Yes, from the from theater, yes. My, uh, my play Big Babies was very successful and got a you know, the National Icelandic Theatre Awards, and uh, I, I love writing for the theatre. I would love to do more of it, but Iceland yeah. is very little, and we have very few theatres, yeah, you know? Yeah. So, um, script writing has been another side of that. So I, I write uh, scripts for TV, yeah. and uh, that is getting... It, it, it's, um, it's beginning to be a bigger part of my career, is, is the script writing thing. Yeah. But, uh, you know, crime fiction is my passion. I love, I love crime fiction and yeah. I love to write it, I love to read it, I love right. to listen to it, right. you know. Yeah. So, so it, it's amazing, the Icelandic scene uh, with the crime writing yes, uh, yes. happening here. Yeah. Uh, for me, if I, if I look the other way for half a year, yes. there's another prince or a yes. princess yes. Yes. Uh, coming to, <laughs> to threaten to take the throne. Exactly, from yes. From Arnaldur and Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. And uh, you're uh, the new princess. Yes, I, 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 I like thinking of myself as the princess <laughs> of crime fiction in Iceland. No, it's, this is like a, a publisher's stunt. This is something that's uh, like a funny tradition. It's like queen and king of crime and uh, therefore there must be princes and princesses. Right, yeah. but they keep coming. Yes, they keep coming. That's true, that's true, yeah. And it's quite amazing, I mean, when you look at little Iceland, yeah. uh, we, we are such a small nation with this little language. Uh, we have almost no crime, you know, no serious crime like, uh, like murder here. It's very rare. There are more yeah. murders in your books. The crime yeah. writers' oh, books yeah. in Iceland. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. So, uh, but we still have all these crime writers, and uh, and uh, of course we have crime in Iceland. We have a lot of sexual violence. We have a lot of drugs. We have a lot of uh, uh, financial crime. You know, uh, we we have a lot of uh, crime to write about. You know, even if it's not murder. You know. Mm -hmm. So um, I get my inspiration a lot from the drug smuggling and the uh, and the financial crime. Oh yeah. <laughs> so so you started out as a as a crime writer. The first two mm. three novels were yes. what you would call yeah. crime. Yeah yeah. yeah 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 yeah. 
Uh, well, in fact, all my novels are, uh, you know, crime fiction. My first two were like mysteries, you right. know, uh, and, mysteries. but but yeah. now the last four have been uh, thrillers. More like thrillers. Yeah. 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 Walt McDermott uh, yes. is quoted as saying, I think, what, about your first book in English. Yes, yes. That uh, she said, it's a great quote. Yeah. Tough, uncompromising and unsettling. Yes. <laughs> so that's oh. uh, how Icelandic can you be? Yes. <laughs> Very hard hitting gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, the Nordic, the Nordic uh, noir, the Nordic crime uh, writing has been quite a success in, in Europe for the last years. And uh, I think it is this kind of rawness that comes with, uh, yeah. our, I mean, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a, of course, it's just crime fiction, like all of the crime fiction. I mean, it, it, it's, um, I would say, I mean, same quality, same, uh, you know, um, material that we're working with, the same form of the stories, but... Uh, there is a f different feel between countries, you yeah, know. If you yeah. read the French uh, uh, novel and an English one and then uh, a Swedish or an Icelandic one, you, you, you get a feel for the country and the place. Yeah. And somehow, I mean, the uh, somehow the Nordic uh, countries have been, if you could say, in fashion. Mm -hmm. You know, you see like Iceland with uh, all, these, all this tourism. A yeah. uh, lot of people have come to Iceland and when you've visited the country and you're interested in it, you want also to read the, the novels, you yeah. know. So uh, that's been good for us. So was it, what is it, uh, the starkness, mm -hmm. uh, darkness and starkness? Yes. Uh, of, yeah. of the genre in, yeah. in, in yeah. Scandinavia and yeah. in Iceland. Yeah. And the Icelandic thing, sort of, the wave comes mm. uh, on the shoulders of, yes. of the Scandinavian. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. And, and I think the next thing that's coming is uh, Arctic Noir. You know, I think we're just yeah. moving <laughs> up north <laughs> gradually, north you know. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, now, now we have... Uh, uh, crime uh, fiction coming from Greenland, you know, and I yeah. hope the Faroe Islands will kick in soon. I mean, they have some really good writers, but they haven't been, you know, internationally known. Right. You know, so uh, I think we are going, you know, we're moving up north and uh, into, you know, right. <laughs> more extremes of the cold climate. Right. You so know. what's the situation with your books in English uh, right now? Uh, my my second uh, book of my trilogy, the Reykjavik Mark trilogy, uh, uh, Trap is just out in paperback in the UK. Will be coming in uh, the US and Canada in uh, uh, early next year. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's it's been an adventure. My first book did really well in the English market and uh, got really good reviews and people seem to like it. So <laughs> you and know, reading, reading it and listening to it. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Uh, and I was so happy. It was an audiobook. And uh, uh, and uh, it was a great, great reader who read it, and uh, so I, w I was so happy. It's, it's you know, yeah. it's it's all been an adventure. Right. Yeah. Let's talk about the uh, and there will be films, I'm sure. Yes, yes, yes. There are plans for that. Yeah. Uh, you have, you um, have. Somebody has optioned already. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, Sigurdjörn Sigurdsson, who yeah. is. Uh, a multinational producer. He Palomar has a, Pictures. Yes, Palomar yeah. Pictures in in uh, in Hollywood, and uh, he has a production company also in Denmark and Iceland. Yeah. So uh, he plans to do uh, turn it into a TV series. Yeah. So uh, that's very interesting for me because I am also a, a scriptwriter for TV. Yes, so, you are. Um, yes. So uh, I mean, I, I love TV. I uh, <laughs> I love watching uh, films and and TV series especially. So, uh, and I think it actually will fit the story very well yeah. because these, you know, uh, short chapters and the kind of telenovela style that goes on and on and on, you know, it's oh, good yeah. for TV. <laughs> you characters. know, yeah. Strong yeah, characters. thank you, yes, yes. But uh, you will have your hand full uh, yes. these next yes. years, I think, because yes. there's another thing coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. And it's just been released, I guess. Yes, yes. That uh, yeah, the yeah. greatest. Icelandic novel yes. of all times yes. is being filmed. Yes, yes. Uh, in yeah. the near future. Yeah. And you're working on it. Yes. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's um, uh, Sjálfstætt Fólk by Haldor Laxness, uh, who is our only no Nobel laureate. And uh, I mean, w without, you know, dissing any other author, he is Iceland's greatest author. I yeah. mean, he. Uh, 
besides Snorri Sturluson, maybe, mm -hmm. you know, uh, but, yeah. but he's, the mass of his work is it's a gi gigantic. And I have been uh, lucky enough to uh, be chosen to work on that with Baltasar Kormagur, the director. And uh, so we are writing a script for it to turn it into a TV series. It's a big book. It is a big book, yes. So that's a challenge. Yeah, yeah. It is, it, it is a challenge in many ways because it's uh, also epic. It's, it's more than yeah. 30 years, yeah. you know. And getting that into six or seven episodes is a, is a challenge. You know. It's a magical book because it it's, is. Uh, yeah. there's so few people in it. Yes. You know, yes. but it's it's one of the largest books you can read. Exactly. Uh, it's, exactly. It's, a ma it's a magical yeah. thing. Yes. And it's this kind of book that I'm now I'm reading. I'm, I've read it over and over again now in the last uh, you know uh, months because uh, because of uh, yeah. uh, the script writing. And I'm still finding, and I, I, I mean, I've read this book probably 10 times before. Yeah. And uh, I'm still finding, you know, scenes in the story, which, you know, give me a heartbeat. You yeah. know, it's like, yeah. it's amazing stuff in there. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's... Such storytelling. It's, it's not maybe his, uh, in form, it's not his most perfect book. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's, it's such a big story, it's yeah. such big drama, yeah. such character, yeah. I mean, amazing. And he was amazing. a young, young man. Uh, 32 years old when writing. he writes this, yeah. and I can't believe it when yeah. I read, uh, I mean, I can't believe it when I, I read it, it's, yeah. it's amazing. And you just told me before that yeah. uh, Baltasar Kormak, the director, Yes. Uh, actually went into filmmaking because of this book? Uh, uh, yes, yes. This, this was a, a story that uh, really changed his life. He read it also, uh, like me, as a teenager, and it just right. hit him, you right. know. And, I mean, his daughter is named after, the, after one of the characters, Solilia, yeah, which yeah. is a very rare and beautiful name. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's that kind of a book that impacts you, you know. And uh, when I read it first time, when I was a teenager, I was living uh, in Spain, you know, and it just filled me with uh, love for Iceland. Yeah. And it's strange to say it because some of the descriptions are, you know, it's like, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, as but, dramatic yeah, as you can get. But, but it's, it's just, I mean, how did people survive in this uh, country, uh, in these conditions? Uh, and I mean, yeah. It's, uh, it's basically a farmer, his daughter and some he, sheep. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and still, it's an amazing story. Yeah. But there is an element there that is all around. It's the, it's the nature and it's the overwhelmingness of your circumstance living in a rough country like Iceland yeah. at these times, I mean, yeah. uh, r roughly 100 years ago. Yeah. And uh, the situation the people are in, the, the poverty, you know, the ignorance. The physicality. Yes, and the stubbornness <laughs> of the Iceland. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah. like, uh, yeah. Uncompromising. <laughs> Uncompromising, yes, it is. And uh, and and uh, ghosts and the elves and the spirits all around, the forces of bad and good all around you in the nature. Some of that, do you think that's informing mm. uh, Icelandic crime writing, thriller writing? Mm. Uh, because it mm. seems like mm. it seems like every Icelander. Mm goes through this work at mm. one period yeah, or another. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, a, it's, it's an interesting question. It's like, a, it's like when people ask you about the sagas, you know. Yeah. Uh, you can, uh, for example, I, I cannot say that the sagas are directly influencing, you know, my writing, but it's the same as with Halto Laxness. I mean, you're an Icelander, and of course it's there. Yeah. It is there, yeah. you, you know, it's always there. Yeah. It has to be, you know. Uh, I, I, I think it's strange, you know, if, uh, if you're a, an Icelandic writer and uh, you haven't got a tiny little piece of Halto Laxness in you, mm. or of the sagas, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's part of our culture, it's part of our understanding of ourselves as a nation. Yeah. Exactly. Lilia, great talking to you, uh, and good luck on your, all your endeavors in the, in the near future. Thank you very and, much. I uh, hope to he be hearing you on Storytell soon. I hope so too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.